Hello and welcome to AM Guitar. I'm Anjay and today I'm going to be looking at the Afterneath from Earthquaker Devices. So, recently went to Underflute HQ to have a look at their pedals and you might have seen on my previous videos, they lent me a Univibe. They also lent me this, the Earthquaker Devices Afterneath. So huge thanks to Underflute. Now, this is an ambient reverb pedal. And if you watch my videos in sequence, you'll have realized that last video, I looked at the Boss Terror Echo. And if you're really keen on this, you may have noticed I'm wearing the same shirt and possibly even recorded these back to back. And you know that because this is now with somebody else. Ooh, future tiny wormy Bill and Ted. Ooh. Anyway, who? <sighs> right, so. Ooh, that's just come out as well, hasn't it? Cool. Anyway, right. This is a different beast. Unlike the Terra Echo, I love this because of one thing, the mix control, which allows me to actually decide how much of it I want in the mix, which the Terra Echo really doesn't let you do. There are all sorts of controls on this. Again, it is a echoey type thing. It's made up of lots of little delays and the delays, the amount of delay, the length of delay and the closeness of all the delays can be changed. Um, somebody on Instagram, I can't think who right now, said that it's the first pedal they had looked at that actually the graphics described it perfectly, a wizard in a cave. The most important control on it, so you've got six controls, length, diffuse, dampen, drag, reflect, mix. Dampen's kind of tone, but drag is the one you're interested in for really altering how the effect works along with mix, because drag is, is the distance between each of the delays. So again, I'm going to play this totally clean guitar into a clean amp um, and I'll fiddle all the controls and then have a little chat to you afterwards. Let's have a listen.
So there, now again, I am probably not using this correctly and I'm sure there are cleverer people out there than me who can make much better use of one of these. However, I really, really enjoyed playing with this pedal because the mix control allows me to create reverbs and delays that I can use in the type of music I play with this added kind of depth and mystery to it almost. Obviously, you can go up to insane levels of kind of echoes and pinging and blah, 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 and if, um, bits of effects on it and particles. And you can go to almost nothing and just have almost like a ping pong bounce back delay. Or slap back delay, sorry. There's an awful lot you can get out of this. And I think if you're willing to play with it and kind of learn it a little bit, you'll probably be able to do almost any kind of reverby stuff you want with this. If you're an ambient player, this is obviously perfect for you. If you are a player like me who just sometimes looks at something a little bit more than a plain reverb or an analog delay, again, you could do a lot worse than this. Now, this is the V2 version, so you can get it a little bit cheaper on the second-hand market. The V3 version is now out, which has an expression pedal inputs and also has um, a mode like six different modes you can have a lot of fun with this and you can create a lot of usable tones with it so if you're looking for something a little bit different i do recommend this um, this version or v3 you can just do so much with get in the comments and let me know what you think of this did you prefer this to the terror echo if you've watched both i'll put a link up there so you can listen to both um, Again, do you think I'm being an idiot and not using it the right way? Let me know your thoughts. Again, thanks to Wonderflute for lending it to me. I'll be back again soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe and cheers.